My beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy. Welcome back to Tokyo. I am in the Shibuya area, and today I'm going to be tasting Ichiran ramen, one of the most famous ramen in Japan. But before I do that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, which is Express VPN. Now, what is a VPN? A VPN is a virtual private network. Basically, it's a tunnel between you and your computer and the internet. And what it provides is security and privacy. So your internet service provider or your ISP can see all of what you're doing, where you're going, what websites you're doing. A VPN circumvents that. And how does it do that? Well, there are over 3,000 different servers at ExpressVPN that reroute your IP address. So you appear anonymously. You come from some other place and they don't know where you're going and what you're doing. This is really also a great thing when you're using a public Wi-Fi system. Say you're in a cafe and you're using public Wi-Fi, or you're like me and you're traveling and you're in an airport and you're using public Wi-Fi. Well, things like passwords can be vulnerable. So ExpressVPN gives you another layer of security. I love that peace of mind. I'm traveling right now, and that's another reason why I like ExpressVPN, because in certain countries, some websites may be blocked. Using ExpressVPN is a way for me to circumnavigate that. Go around it and get to see and do things that I need to do. So, super handy, super simple. So, ExpressVPN is also very easy to use, and you can use it on multiple devices. I have it on all my computers and my phone. So if you'd like to learn more about how you can get three months of ExpressVPN free, head over to expressvpn.com slash emmymade, or click the link down below. Big thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Now today, I'm going to Ichiran Ramen, one of the most famous ramen shops in all of Japan. Yes, it's the one that has the little booth and there's like a disembodied person that serves you ramen. Yes, you've heard of that place. That's where I'm going today. Alrighty, so I have arrived to Shibuya Crossing, and that's right here. And directly to my right is Hachiko, the famous waiting dog, the ever loyal dog. Right here is Hachiko, right there. Everyone comes to say hello to Hachiko, take a picture with him. That means you two will return. Very sweet sentiment. About 10 o'clock in the morning, so people are probably at work right now. And I'm hoping that it won't be crowded at Ichiran. Ichiran is open 24 hours a day. I'm going to cross Shibuya Crossing towards Tower Records. Apparently there are two locations, but I'm going to the main location. I'm heading towards the McDonald's over here. So there's another location here. They're saying that just in case you have to wait. Heading down some steep steps. And here is a vending machine so we can pay for our food. So the set menu comes with an egg, nori, and the chashu. So that's what I'm gonna get. And then I might get a dessert too. So, because there's so many foreigners visiting here, everything comes in English. You can get tea, seaweed half boiled egg. Oh, you can even get the spicy red seasoning. Nice. Okay, so now everything's lit up. Nice red light saying that they're all accessible to me now that I've paid. So, I'm going to get the Ichiran 5. Now, the ticket comes out. I'm going to get a matcha pudding too. Hey, change. Isn't that nice? So, 
take my tickets. And over on this board tells you the open spots. So I'm gonna go on to the right side. Here we go. Tickets. We get all these different booths here. And I'm taking 17. I hang up my jacket and my purse right here. I can't believe I'm actually here. This is so awesome. So from my understanding, this kind of whole booth business is about efficiency. So come in here, order what you need at the vending machine, get beautiful service, and all the privacy you need to get in and out and have a beautiful bowl of power. Okay, so let me fill this out. It's all in English, very conveniently, what I want. Das ist stark. I like it. Medium, as recommended. Richness, you know medium. I love that it's all customizable. Uh, garlic, I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm just gonna do half a clove. And this is green onion. Yes, of course, you need your maggie. Chashu, height, width. It's one of my favorite parts. Okay, so it tells you a level of spiciness. Mild, medium, spicy. I think they recommend mild. I'm gonna go with medium. I wanna be able to taste my soup. And in terms of noodle texture, I usually like mine, I'm gonna go with medium. I usually like them on the firmer side, but I wanna see what their recommendation is. So I pretty much stayed with their entire recommendation, except I asked for a little more garlic and a little bit more heat. I am ready, so push my button. As I turned around to get my tripod, my eggs arrived, and this is my matcha tofu. And when I'm ready to have that, I'm going to place it here and push the button, just like it says. See? Place the plate on the sensor. Oh my gosh, it's so smart. Look, my own water dispenser. <gasps> the level of considerateness here in Japan is unparalleled. I just... I just love it. I love it so much and I miss it when I leave. I really do. Okay. Mm. My sides. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. See that? You just close the screen so I can have a little bit of privacy and a little moment with my adamant. A little moment. <laughs> and I need a little moment because look at this. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. So I've got my chashu here, and I believe those are shredded mushrooms. Woodier mushrooms. And look at the size of my nori. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Now, this is wonderful, beautiful. Please don't do this. There's no need to do that sanding business. I'm gonna just add some of this to here, to here. Oh my gosh, and my egg. Cut. Look at that. Look at the color of that. Oh, that right there. Oh my god, that is so gorgeous. Now that really is something to take a moment to just be with. This is so gorgeous. The moment has come. It is time to eat this beautiful thing. <sighs> All right, let's taste the broth first. This is tonkatsu style of ramen. So this ramen broth is rich and creamy and has this kind of milky color to it. All right, let's give that a taste. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so rich. It has like a slippery mouthfeel and your lips get kind of coated with the fat that's on top. 
delicious. It's complex and meaty with a little bit of kind of sea flavor to it from the dashi. Absolutely lovely. So now I'm gonna mix the hot, spicy stuff in there and get the broth a taste. Oh yeah. Not only does it give it some heat, but it gives it some chili pepper flavor in there. Lovely. And I had a little bit of green onion in there. I love green onion. It peps things up. Itadakimasu. Good. So the noodles are thin and straight. They have a beautiful texture. They're tender, yet still have some resilience. They're not hard. Not really chewy at all either, but they are delicious. They soak up every little drop of that ramen broth. Let's eat our egg. Perfectly cooked egg. It's actually seasoned, so there's a little bit of salt in there. The yolk is tender and creamy, and the white is not rubbery. Just firm, but not rubbery at all. Just perfection. Mm. Now I'm tasting some of the garlic in there. Lovely. Now let's have some of the mushroom along with the noodles. That texture contrast is wonderful. The woodier mushroom gives it a really great crunch, along with kind of tenderness of the noodles. So good. This is hands down the best bowl of ramen I've ever had. It's wonderful. All right, let's chase the chashu. Oh, I love the chashu. Mm. really good. So it's cooked tenderly, but it still has a bite to it. It's still chewy. Super flavorful. Everything is just so well seasoned. And then there's little fatty bits that kind of just melt in your mouth. Fantastic. All right, where's that nori? It's kind of melted into my soup. Mm. Mm. Big punch of the sea. Oh. So good. <sighs> I'm so happy. This is my breakfast, and I'm so glad I waited. Mm. The level of heat is perfect. If you just want a little kiss of heat in there, medium, it's perfect. It doesn't take away at all from the flavors and textures that are going on in this bowl of noodle soup. Fantastic. All right, if you'll excuse me, I've got to have a moment with my suit. <laughs> I polished that off right quick. Look at that. Delicious. Easily the best ramen I've ever had. Okay, now, I mustn't forget about dessert. Here's my bowl of soup. I'm going to take this and place it right there. Hi. It's got a goji berry on top. It comes with the matcha syrup, so I'm gonna pour that on top. I can't stop jiggling it. Okay, here we go. Mmm, mmm. I think there might be a little bit of almond in there. It reminds me of those almond desserts that you can get sometimes at the end of a Chinese banquet. Super smooth. But there's still just a little bit of texture in there that reminds you that this is indeed tofu and not just like a 
an almond gelatin made with milk. It's delicious. The matcha syrup is a little bit bitter, but it goes really nicely with the sweetened tofu. A really nice way to finish the ramen. The ramen's really flavorful and garlicky and fatty and rich. And this is cool and smooth and lighter and sweet. So a nice little contrast to all that savoriness. It's the perfect meal. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy I did this. Oh. So, so, so good. So there you have it. My first taste of Ichiran ramen and it is totally up to the hype. Absolutely 100%. It's a wonderful experience. It's absolutely wonderful meal. Wonderful meal. So big thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Head over to expressvpn.com slash emmymade or click the link down below to learn about how you can get three months of ExpressVPN free. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video. Subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Sayonara. I just want to like hang out here all day, but it's not really possible.